at the end of the Glenmere Avenue public beach access, just before you reach the crisp winter waves. There's a bright red mailbox full of holiday gifts in the form of journal entries. I always had an idea of having a little red mailbox and maybe a journal kept inside that perhaps we could write a note of hope. The heartache from a mother's loss turned into a mission to help others. I've come here to think, to cry, and I kept hearing her say to me, Sue, if you ever feel sad, help somebody. Now, years later and hundreds of pages filled with hope, this holiday season dedicated to those who serve and protect. I want all our heroes' stories to be told. The mailbox has become so popular that Goodridge says she's now on her 20th journal. And with the American flag on the front, this journal is dedicated to the military. With journal entries like this one, it was worth all 540 miles to get to this mailbox. Sincerely, T. Jones, United States Marine Corps. Uh, nope, they're not going to be home for Christmas. And I just talked to my wife on the phone about that. She was all upset. For a father like Chuck Haskett, whose two sons are serving in the Army and deployed for the holidays, the journal is a reminder their sacrifice is appreciated. It's nice to know that your kids are appreciated when they do join the military or your parents or, or even if you're in the military, it's nice to know that there's appreciation out there for them. The town has embraced the mailbox so much that they now keep past journals and are turning them into digital archives kept at City Hall. In the Outer Banks, Brianna Berry, News 3.